welcome to the new video in the discrete math series again the same instruction watch all the previous video so that you understand the things in a correct way without further discussion let's continue now in this question they are asking that express the negation of these propositions using quantifiers and then express the negation in English. So there are three, four different parts of this problem. The first part is to represent this statement using quantifiers. Second part is we need to write its negation. And finally, we have to translate that in English language. But before we do all of this, the first thing that we have to do, and I am continuing over here, is to define the domain so that whenever we are solving a problem like this, our domain of discourse must be clear. So let us take what is the domain here. So the domain here I consider is the set of all drivers. Domain is all drivers or the set of all drivers. Uh, the first thing I need to do is to define a propositional function. So I am defining the propositional function dx that x obeys the speed limit. Right? Now some of you may ask that why you have not taken x do not obey speed limit because usually we avoid the compound proposition in the beginning we take dx and then we take the negation of it right now how this statement will translate in quantifiers terms some drivers so there exist x do not obey the speed limits means negation of dx so this is the translation into quantifiers using quantifiers now the next part is what is the negation of it so the negation of it is negation of there exist x negation of dx okay so we know the laws of equivalence so if i have to write negation of there exist i will write for all x and then we take the negation of this statement but we already have a negation here. So that will become negation of negation of dx. I hope you agree to this. So this statement will finally translate into for all x dx. Right? Negation of negation of dx will become dx. Next, we have to write the negation in English language. So what will be the English language translation of this? It will look like every driver, every driver obeys the speed limit so this is the first part first question i hope it has made sense to so let us take the next problem all swedish movies are serious so let us move to the next page now what we are going to do for this particular problem and this is a very important problem so be careful and listen carefully because we are going to discuss it in two ways and then you will understand the context very clearly so if i am talking about all swedish movies are serious then the first thing is that we have to define the domain right now in first situation because i am going to discuss in two ways so in the first situation i am going to define the domain as all the swedish movies right now if i have defined the domain as all the swedish movies next thing i am going to define the propositional function that is x is serious movie right so if i have defined the propositional function x is serious movie and my domain is all the swedish movie then this statement uh, all movies are serious 
will simply translate into it will translate into for all x p x this is the translation of it now the next part of this question is that what is the negation of this statement so negation is there a negation of there exist x p x right so using the laws of equivalence i can write that this is equivalent to there exist x negation of px right now finally if i have to translate this in english language so there exist x means there is a swedish movie swedish movie for which negation of px is true means there is a swedish movie which is which is not serious right ladies and gentlemen i hope you are getting so this is the first way of solving the problem now you might be thinking that what is the next possibility or what is the other way so alternate way alternate way and this i am just discussing for your better understanding because if you write this answer that is 100% true no problem but as a computer science student or as a mathematics student you must be clear about other aspects and different possibilities as well right so let us now define the domain let us make the domain bigger and let us take the domain as all movies and this when i say all movies by that what i mean that all movie across the world right so when we are defining the domain as all movies then in this case we have to define two propositional function and let us define them as px where i will call that x is a swedish movie x is a swedish movie and i will also define qx which i am calling x is a serious movie serious movie right now if i take any movie across the world telugu movie bollywood movie <laughs> i don't know whether telugu movies are serious or not i have never watched a uh, you know serious telugu movie right if you find like there is some please do suggest so now x is a swedish movie right and x is a serious movie so how it will translate uh this will translate into quantifiers as for all x if x is a serious movie means if x is a serious movie means for all x if px then uh, i have to rephrase my statement let me let me repeat it i am saying that all swedish movies are serious so i made a mistake earlier i i repeat for all x px means what for all x if x is a swedish movie then it is serious means then px implies qx so the another way of writing this as for all x px implies qx and this is in the context when i am taking the domain as all movies right gentlemen now what is the negation of this statement so if i have to write the negation of this statement i will write negation of for all x px implies qx i am putting the brackets so that you don't uh, you know uh, get confused i am continuing here on this side so this is equivalent to uh, we, when we are taking the negation of for all statement let me just write one more line so negation of for or all statement will become there exist x right there exist x such that negation of px implies qx right uh, one correction that you can do here that when i am writing qx here i am writing capital q and so it is better to change this to capital q yes i hope you agree to this now if you look at this statement this is a conditional statement p implies q and we have studied in our earlier lectures or earlier videos that p implies q is negation of p or q so this statement will become what this statement will become there exist x and negation of negation of p 
पी एक्स और क्यू एक्स निगेशन ऑफ पी एक्स और क्यू एक्स नाउ फाइनली आई आई हैव टू राइट देयर एग्जिस्ट एक्स एंड निगेशन ऑफ निगेशन ऑफ पी एक्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज डिमोर्गन लॉ सो निगेशन ऑफ निगेशन ऑफ पी एक्स विल बिकम पी एक्स एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ऑर विल चेंज इन टू एंड एंड इट विल बिकम निगेशन ऑफ क्यू एक्स सो दिस इज हाउ द फाइनल स्टेटमेंट विल लुक लाइक दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट एक्स पी एक्स एंड निगेशन ऑफ क्यू एक्स सो इन दिस केस इफ आई हैव टू फाइनली राइट इट इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज हाउ इट विल लुक लाइक इट विल लुक लाइक दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट एक्स मीन्स देयर एग्जिस्ट देयर इज सम वॉट इज पी एक्स पी एक्स इज दैट एक्स इज अ स्वीडिश मूवी सो देयर एक देयर इज सम स्वीडिश मूवी देयर इज सम स्वीडिश मूवी दैट इज दैट इज नॉट सीरियस निगेशन ऑफ क्यू एक्स दैट इज नॉट सीरियस सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द डिफरेंस uh between uh, two situations when we take the domain as uh, all movies and when we take the domain as uh, all swedish movies so we have done it two ways in the first case we took the domain as swedish movies and in the second case we have taken the domain as all the movies so i hope you have understood it the other two problems that is there i would suggest you to solve it yourself no one can keep a secret and the second one is that there is someone in this class who does not have a good attitude and uh, i would suggest you that write your answer write its english translation and put that in your comment so that i can check how many of you are able to do right if you still have not subscribed and have not watched the previous video i would suggest you that subscribe it and keep watching all the videos in the sequence that is something that i am repeatedly saying that watch them in sequence so that you get clear understanding i also want you to say one more thing that for this uh, uh, you know video series i will continue till the very end i will create a uh, you know complete video lecture series of discrete maths course right so it is very very important to uh, be uh, regular on this channel so that you uh, you know get the videos uh, regularly it is even better to press the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever i will upload the video so possibly uh, very soon i will be able to complete uh, the first part of it and then i will also talk about recurrence relation and other topics that is there so this is all for this video thank you uh, in the next video we are going to uh, also talk about some uh, interesting uh, problems where we have to convert the english statement into quantifiers so problem solving is very important because theory you might be you know reading in books or even learning in the class but i guess that in most of the classes the number of problems that you are solving are not very much so here i have tried to solve as many problems as possible so the next uh, video or perhaps one or two more video will be related to problem solving right and then we will start the next topic so thank you and have a nice day